Welcome back to Thistle Hill Farmstead. Today we got a little chore to do on our green ATV here behind us. It's got a broken tail light and I'm going to replace that tail light today. So come along with us. Should be an easy fix. As I said the other day, my grandson was riding the ATVs with a friend of his and they got on a hill. He was leading in the green one and his friend was behind him and they stopped and he kind of let it roll back. So the back tail light hit the front bar of the uh, other ATV and it's, it's got these bars in the front here and it busted the tail light as you can see. So that's going to be our fix today. It, it uh, broke the tail light and it kind of pushed in the uh, LEDs here too, broke those. So this thing uh, has to be replaced. You can't replace just the cover. You have to buy the whole unit and I have the unit. Here it is. I've got it off of Amazon. Um, and it was about 34 bucks, so not too bad. And the way it goes in is you see these two bars here. They just push into some grommets uh, that are in this assembly piece down here. So it should be a pretty easy fix. And then it's got one uh, electrical connector there. So let's see if we can get this replaced. Should be easy to do. This green ATV has this little... Uh, cover over it here that has some extra pockets and a place where somebody could sit back here so that's why it's going to look a little different uh, but this is what it looks like underneath so what we're going to do to get to that light is just pull this little uh, rubber rubberized tab here and it'll open up this uh, compartment i'm going to do the same thing on this one it's just that it's up underneath here and looks a little bit different but it's the same uh, thing now that we have this compartment open, um, we just want to push or pull this out. And I think the easiest way to do is going to be to push on these little nibs here and push them out of these rubber um, grommets. And this is just going to be a little bit of a task with your thumb, I believe. Whew, yeah, that, that hurts a little bit. I have this kit here that has a bunch of different tools. Now this kit is made to remove interior components from your car or truck. It has some, some uh, hooks to remove uh, these types of fasteners, which are right here that kind of pull out. And uh, it has some other types of things to remove radio components, etc. So I'm gonna use one of these um, to try to help get that uh, to get that light out. So let's try this one. And these are rubber, so they, uh, or plastic, so they don't uh, damage your uh, components. So let me see if I can use this to try to get that out. So the goal here is to push these little grommets out. And I don't know, maybe I can just use this to push. Uh, I really couldn't push it with my finger because it's a little tight. I still can't get it out. So what I'm gonna try to do See if I can get this behind here and pull down. Yeah, you see it, it's pulling down there now. So get this behind. Now, obviously I don't have to worry about breaking this piece since it's already broken, but I don't want to damage this piece. And these plastic, uh, plastic tools do a good job of, of not damaging uh, this other piece of plastic here. Man, that one doesn't want to come out. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's the, uh, the broken one. And it's got one connector here that holds the light. And you push this little tab up it should unplug. There we go. It may be a little bit hard to pull out because it's got this rubber gasket here that keeps the water, any water from getting into the light. And you can see there's just a uh, little water does get back in here um, around this. So I might take something to clean this up a little bit before I put the, uh, the other one back in. So this original light that was in here <clears throat> has a gasket 
a rubber gasket around it. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. But the new one, the replacement, did not come with that gasket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rubber gasket off of this one. And I'm going to reuse it on the new one. So here's, here's that gasket. And I'll clean that up a little bit and we'll put it on the new uh, light and then we'll put it back in. So I'm going to use this gasket again. Uh, I've cleaned it up. It looks nice. And let's uh, let's get it back on there. Uh, and we can kind of see how it went based on the shape of it. Uh, so I believe it goes like this. And I'm just going to slide it up on there. There we go. All right, that's it. So it's it's on there on the new one. And now all we have to do is connect our electrical source and slide it in. So the first thing I want to do is reconnect the power source. And there's only one way this can go, so you can't really mess it up there we go and you heard that click as i got it in there now what i'm going to do to make this easier to slide in is i've got some just uh dry wax lubricant i'm gonna spray a little bit in these little rubber grommets here just so it'd be easier to slide in and then you just put it up there let's see how easy it goes in there There's the first one, and there's the second one. So I'm just pushing on the light with my hand and around these little rubber grommets with my thumb. And you, you'll feel when the little uh, nibs come out the other side. And there we go, looks good. The gasket's in place. And all we gotta do is lock it back. There we go. So that was pretty easy. Now let's turn the key on and press the brake lever and see if it lights up. Key on, pressing the handbrake, and I'm going to press the foot brake. And both times we have light. So there you go. So that was a pretty easy fix, just pulling the old broken light out and putting the new one in. The hardest part was to get the light out. And like I said, I had that little tool to help me pry it out. Honestly, you could do it with a screwdriver or anything else. Just be uh, careful that you don't mar up the, uh, the black plastic housing uh, that the tail light is in. But other than that, it wasn't uh, too difficult. So thanks for joining me. I hope you liked this uh, video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Uh, really helps the channel out a lot, helps me out a lot to know what content you like to see. And remember, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to the channel so you keep up to date with all of our videos and ring that bell notification so that when I do post a new video, you'll get notified. Thanks again. Until next time.